hello guys good afternoon good morning good evening welcome back to my youtube channel okay today i will be making this hairband we're using two different colors of bead so we're using, we used a crystal bead a crystal bead size six bead so that's what we'll be making today we'll be using an alice band we'll be using a scissors we'll be using a fishing line and two size of two colors of bead so firstly you trade your you trade your fishing line i'll be using a needle to do this work for 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 easy easy beading if you're using a needle for your work it makes you to pick the beads faster so after threading my needle with fishing line, I'm taking it round the the Alice band multiple times, then tie. Tie as much as you want. In the fishing line is thin on the Alice band, so you tie as much as you want. So I'm still tying my Alice band. I'm still tying my fishing line on the Alice band. After tying, then my beading work will start soon. Just tie. I feel it's not okay, so I'm I'm tying more times. I'll tie it more times then before I start my beading. So now the fishing line is is properly tied on the Alice band. So I start I'm um, start uh, I've started beading. So because the the the, the beginning of the uh, Alice band is tiny I'll be using three beads I'll start use I'll start with three beads so um, I'm making this hairband with two colors of beads so in that way I'll not be able to tr uh, I will not bead my fishing line I will not bead it down so as I'm working and beading I'm putting beads on my fishing line because I would have just put the colors of the bead once the two colors on the fishing line once but because the alice band comes is not in in the in same size the under is tiny while the up is wide and all that i'll be working as 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 the size is so first of all i'm starting with three bits i'm starting with three bits So for now it's three bead. So because I know I'll be using three three for the meantime, I had to bead my fishing line. I had to bead it but not very long because the number of the bead will change as the work progresses. So this is three three for now. When you put your beads on the fishing line before working, it makes the work fast. But when you are using a multiple color, you're using two colors of bead or three colors of bead because you don't know the number that the fish uh, the alice the number of beads the alice band is taking at a particular time. Beading your fishing line is will make your work confusing. So as you're working, you are beading, you are putting the needle on the fishing line. So just be doing it that way. It will make your work um neat. So 
So now um, I'm no longer using three three beads. I'll be using four. So I'm using four for now. No longer three because the Alice band we are working on now is wider than the previous part. So I'll be using I'm using four four beads now. So it's four four beads. As it progresses, one of the bead will be will be will be will, will be one number more than the other color. For example, I'm doing um if I'm using the deep gold, if I'm using six of it, the other lighter color I'll use five of it, just to give it a very fine edge, the edge of the band so that it will be fine. And I don't want it all uniform. I want the edge to be to be a bit scattered in that way it makes it more fine so I'm using five six now sorry five four five four is when I'm almost at the at the center of the Alice band I'll be using five six because that place is wide When you use your needle to pick your beads, it makes your work faster than using fishing line to pick beads. If you use fishing line to pick beads, to pick beads, you will you will get tired easily. So now, these are the numbers of beads I'm using. I'm using six five now. Six five. So depend on the color you start with, whichever color you start with, you know how to, you know the number that should be much. So this is six five now. The six five. Now my fishing line is finished, but my work is yet to be conclude, concluded. So what I'm doing now, I'm taking the fishing line round, round the Alice band until it's remaining small, cut out the needle, then the small fishing line remaining, you take it back, take it back like this, just use one of your fingers to, to hold it down and continue your work the work you are doing now will, 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 will secure that part. It will not make it to lose. So um, this is a new fishing line now. The new fishing line, you take it round where you've already bid multiple times again so that it will cover the other one. You can see, so you don't have to stress yourself time, time, time. You don't have to stress yourself when you are doing this work. You don't have to tie. When you carry your fishing line round the 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 remaining the fishing line you finish using, the one remaining, it will it is just as good as tying it because it will not make it to lose. And you still covering the back. You cover the back of the fishing line. So no need of stressing yourself tying it. It will not it will not make anything go wrong. So this is seven now. I'm using seven six because I'm 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 already at the middle of the Alice band. That part of the band is wide. So your number of is not a standard number of bead that you use to do your work. As your work progresses, as you are going to the, as you progress to the to the wider part of the band, you increase your bead. Just use your head and increase the bead. You know what will fit in perfectly. That no, uh, the the Alice band will not be showing. So increase your bead at will. So 
So I've increased my bid now. We started with 3-3. Three, three. Now we are doing 6-7. So because I already know the number that will fit in for that part, I beat both colors together. So I already know the numbers that will fit in. But when you're when you are bidding, when you are putting beads on your fishing line, make sure you don't you don't if you are doing the you are bidding the two colors down, you don't do too much because the number might decrease or increase. So you just do maybe for two or three. Like now I just put for two. And after after that is finished, I'll bid again because I already know the next number as my work progresses. I already know the next number to go. So this is another um another fishing line that is finished. So this is what you do to your fishing line. When your work is, is yet to be concluded and the fishing line is finished, you just cut the needle out, then carry your fishing line, take it back. Use your hand to head it, you can see. So work continue. So work continue. I get a new fishing line now with needle. So when you head it down like that, just continue with the new work. You don't have to tie. As I said earlier, you don't have to tie it. So this like this. This is the new fishing line now that I I I am I'm, I'm using. So the new fishing line, just take it run multiple times. When you take it run multiple times, you continue. You continue your work. So I know that this this the number that will be I know that this this the band is taking six six at that time. So I I beat it, I beat it down. I put my beads on the fishing line down so because I already know the number that will fit in for that part for that part that I'm working on. But in case you don't know, this is not my first time of doing this, so I already know how it goes. But in case this is your first time of doing this band, just put your bead as your work goes. You don't have to bead it down. Just work as, put your bead, bead it as your work progresses so that you, with time, you'll be able to know the particular number of beads that your, your work is taking part time. So now I already know the number of beads that will fit in for that part of the Alice band. So I bead, I bead my fishing line down. can see it's very beautiful if you want to use one color of bead you are welcome to do that but I'm making this for someone and she wants to color she wants it just as seen she wants to color when you're working please try and use your hand to push the the beads together in case there is space Use your hand to push them together. So you can see the space now. I use my hand to pull them together. You see the back of the Alice band is actually very rough because of the fishing line. So that's why we need to cover it. Some persons don't cover, but it's safe to cover it. So that your work will not start spoiling from there. So um, as your work progresses, like now you're going to the tiny part again, the number of bead will reduce. You see the number of bead has reduced now. It's now six five. No longer the six seven we are doing when we are at the center of the Alice band. So as your work progresses. 
just use the number of beads that fits in for that particular time. So this six. The six, the deeper gold is five. So I'm no longer doing the same number of, I'm not using the same number of bead. When one is six, the other one is five. But there are some points, like the beginning part of it, you use same number. Okay, we are back to four now. From four, we will go back to three. Because work is almost done. So this four, four is still okay for that for that part. Then the next one now will be three because four that place will not be able to take four again. So we are using three bits there. So three bits now. Taking three bigs. So we are back to three beads. We started with three bead, progresses to four, then five, five, then six, five, six, seven, then it's come, uh, it's come down to six six five again then five five then four six now we are on three so our work is done the remaining fishing line now you take it back keep using it to cross the work that you've already done then you tie When you know that your work is almost done and your fishing line is finished, when you want to thread your needle with another fishing line, make sure that fishing line is long because that's what you, you are going to use to, 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 to finish your work. That's what you are going to use to tie and seal the, the other part of it so that it will not lose. So you take the fishing line back. Start taking it back. For numer you take it back numerous times, then tie. So this is a way of tying it. The, the efficient line is too long, so. So you tie now. Tie, it just is us to go. Okay, this is what we call Peter Cham. So I'm using Peter Cham to cover up this space. So what you do is to you put gum on your on your band and use the Peter Cham to cover it. You apply gum, you apply gum on that part, then use Peter Cham to cover it like this. Just apply gum. The picture, the pita charm, this is the size, so you don't even need, when you finish covering that part, just use scissors to trim a little bit from the left and right, so you can see. I finished putting gum. I use my pita charm to cover it. So work is done. It's looking very neat. That white thing you are seeing is gum that I mistakenly touched on that part. So I'll be using my scissors to trim the damp part of it because 
that down part of it has a different size after trimming just get a lighter get a lighter or candle to burn that part the end part of it when you are burning it please you have to be very careful so that you will not burn the fishing line if you burn the fishing line the whole of your work will scatter so be very careful when burning when burning the end part of it so just be very careful any little mistake the fire will burn the fishing line so be very careful when burning that part yeah it's all set looking beautiful right <laughs> okay yeah that's the work so neat so neat so thank you guys thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my channel if you are here to subscribe please share this video if you wish to <laughs> i will appreciate you share um please give this video a thumbs up like my video subscribe to my channel thank you see you in my next video thank you hello guys good morning good afternoon good evening welcome back to my youtube channel i'm back again with gold and red <laughs> as i always said i love gold i love red i love white so i'll be making this ashoki hairband ashoki in um um nigeria language so we'll be using the matching gum these are some extra gum stick that we'll be using we'll be using a rose flower this is bias um the scissors we'll be using an alice brand tape ashoke this is the main the main um material for this stuff and a needle and thread so first of all we'll wrap our alice band i am trying as much as possible to manage my ashoke i don't want to waste it it's the one you are seeing is a thousand naira you know in nigerian currency so this is how i'll be cutting it so i'll be cutting it this way you leave a space in this part and leave space in the other side so you'll be able to wrap it in inside the alice band so this is it as you can see yeah when you wrap this it will come out perfectly well so i'll be using this to cut extra three so i'll be cutting extra three of this since it's same length i just use this one to measure it no need to place my alice band on it again so i'll be cutting this extra three so what to do when you are uh, dealing with your ashoke please be very careful it's pull off easily so be very careful i made this ashoke without using a sewing machine i did everything with gun and needle gum needle and thread so you be careful with it so that you not spoil your ashoke so you um apply gum apply gum on the alice band as i am applying this way you apply on the ashoke also so that it will come out perfectly well you place the ashoke on the alice band or you place the alice band on the ashoke whichever way so this this is how is is done then we have another pieces left when you are working please be very careful with this gun it, it the gum it has the ability of staining material and ruling everything it will rule everything and makes it come out very rough i'll try to be careful but i'm very careless with this gum this is finished so i want to replace it so i'm done replacing it the the process continue apply gum on the ashoke and also apply on the alice band as you can see some of the part of the ashoke is, is is pulling off if you don't want your ashoke to pull off whichever part you cut please use candle to burn i don't have candle at home and this is very late in the night that i'm making this i think i'll be using it for church tomorrow i'm going to rock this to church tomorrow so this is not for a customer it's for myself so make sure you put enough gum this gum is not expensive put it as as much as you can and be careful with it not to ruin your work so same process as you can see this part is remaining that's why i said we'll be using three we'll be cutting this pieces in three places so you have to add extra we are adding extra so that will make it the third pieces but if you don't want if you don't want it this way you don't want to cut you can just cut on a straight line 
you cut your art showcase, turn your art showcase the other way and cut on a straight line. No need of cutting three pieces the way I did. You just cut on a straight line and you are good to go. So you apply gum on this part. You apply on the ashu key, the excess at the left hand side and at the right hand side. Then you fold in. So you apply your gum, enough gum. And when you apply, when it comes to the edge of the ashu key, just be careful with it. Don't apply much there so that it will not uh, pump out. So we are going to be folding in. Fold in or tuck in, whichever way. <laughs> okay, please, is this your first time of watching my video? Kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you've been watching my video, you are yet to subscribe, please subscribe, turn on the notification so that when I post interesting video, you'll be the first person to get the notification. Okay, so you tuck in. This is how we're going to be doing it. You fold in. And when you are doing it, be careful so that you don't have um rough parts at the front of the at the Alice band on the Alice band. You don't have a rough part, so you tuck in, drag as possible anywhere you see that there's SS or anything, just drag in. So this is what we'll be doing all through. Yeah, place your shuki, just wrap it. So we're done wrapping. This is the this is the um length to be using, but I already use a paper to practicalize this. If you are a first timer, please use paper to practice this so that your work will be neat. Don't do try and error on your ashoki. Don't do try and error with your ashoki. Get a paper and practicalize it. So this is the inches of the paper, but I'm going to be using more. So the way my ashoki is like this, I'm not going to trim it on the left and right hand side. I'm not going to do it. The only thing is to take the to take the long length on how many inches to go with. So this says I'm not cutting it off at all because I might end up ruining my ashoki. You will ruin it because it's um the ashoki just like thread that they put in to make this stuff. So if you're not careful with it, you just spoil everything. So this is the inch remaining. I'm not going to cut it off. I'll just leave it. I'll make use of it that way. So this is the um the length and the and the width of what I want to do. So I already cut I already cut this. So I'm not going to be needing this paper anymore. I'll just have to place this on on the ashoki and cut the remaining three. I need four to make the beautiful hairband you just um saw. So I'll be using the the one I already cut to cut this for. So I've cut two. It's remaining two more. You see the way I'm I'm using my ashoki. Even the way I wrap the band from inside, I'll still have a set. I'll use to make another hairband. I'll be posting that one soon, maybe this weekend next weekend i'll be posting that or within the week i'll be posting that so this is it mm, cutting the last one now cutting the last one now though i'm not a tailor but my hand is straight I, i'll applaud myself for this <laughs> okay i'm not needing my paper anymore this is it i've cut four so i'm going to make i'll be making a cone with it i'll, make, I'll be making cone with it you can see this is how I, I did it. I'm making cone with it. So I'll be making cone with four of these. So they are going to come out as a cone. So firstly, I'm not using gun. I'll just make a cone and see how it is. In case you, you don't want your palette, you can use candle to trim it. You can use candle to burn it. Be careful. Or you take it to, for weaving. Let them weave it for you. Take it to a tailoring shop for weaving. Or you sew it, but I'm not using needle. Just this is just for beginners who doesn't have any any. They don't have the equipment. They don't have sewing machine. They don't have needle. Oh, sorry. They don't have a sewing machine. They don't have a weaving machine. Sorry, I used the wrong part of the ashoki, so I'm, I turn it to to the good part now. So this is just for beginner who doesn't have those equipment. With your gum or needle and thread, you will make this hair um hair 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 band. So this is it.
so this is it so this is what i'm making my hairband is done i finished wrapping it as you can see we'll be using bias to cover inside so the hairband is completely wrapped this is completely a completely wrap also so i'll be using gum to seal it up so that it will not be raising it will not be raising its head i will be what I say. <laughs> so that it will not be pulling out so we'll be using gum to seal it this way if you have a sewing machine i think this is where the sewing machine will come in or use needle and try to sew for, sew in i don't know this inner sewing i don't know if you can um uh, we are we are um used to it inner sewing the thread will just be showing a little so we'll be using our uh, gum gum all through this and believe me it came out where the gum did not disappoint at all. Everything was perfectly sealed up. So be using gum to make the cone. We already make the cone. We already fold it. If you have a pressing iron, you can use a pressing iron to fold it. But I use my hand. Believe me, it's it's okay. You don't need all that just to it's going to stress you more. So just use your hand to apply force and it's good to go. So we are using gum still. I'm very careful with this ashoke because this ashoke can actually disappoint you when you think you are almost done with your work. Everything will pull off. Maybe you are trying to drag a thread or something, and the whole ashoke has turned to thread in your hand. So I'm very careful with it. Anything, don't use your hand to pull. Just use scissors to cut off. When you see any thread at all, use scissors to cut off. Don't pull. Don't pull. Don't pull. Once you pull, you spoil it. The ashoke is just thread, thread put together. So we are done with the four cone. This is the first, uh, the first part of it. So we are going to fold it again, again. Yeah, that's why it gives that long look in the previous video you watched. So this is it. We are going to be doing it again. So use gum to seal it just the way we did in the first part. Just fold it into two. So this is it. We have this long shape. The hairband is taking shapes. <laughs> have you subscribed? Don't skip the video. If you skip the video, you're going to miss something. So just watch the video to the end. Watch it to the end so that you'll get every part of um every part, every step, every procedure. So you fold the whole of the ashoke. You fold it again just the way I'm doing it. Okay, this is the last one. I didn't seem to read. When you are working with anything I thought uh that has to do with folding, applying of gum. Always learn to apply pressure. Apply pressure. See the way everything is lined and as if I sew them. So this is it. So we get a needle and thread. Needle and thread. Just tie the end of the thread so that it will not mess your work up. So we have four cone. Four ashoki cone. <laughs> Okay, we'll be placing just the way you see it in the previous video. Just place the four together like that. I'll put them together like this. As you can see, the shape is already here. This is what we want on the Alice band. Yeah, this is how we want it. So we are going to use needle to sew four of them together. If you want to use gum, fine. But I'll be using needle for this. I don't want disappointment, please. So I'll be using needle. This is the first time I'm using needle since I started this work. So this is the first time I'm using needle. But at the um at the other part of it where I was folding the cone for the first time, if you want to use needle there, you can. So I finished sewing this. I finished sewing it. It's not a serious sewing. So this is the way I tie my stuff after sewing, cut off excess thread. So this other face now that I'm about doing, if you want to needle it you want to thread you want to sew it you can if you want to use gum you can so i'll be sewing and i'll be using gum so this is how we want it to stay so this part raise uh, this part falling off you can use gum to attach attach it together so 
we'll be applying gum on the alice band gum in excess in excess please so we apply a lot of gum i don't mind about that opening there because i know this um this uh, crown shape i made will cover it up so i don't mind this part that is showing i don't mind so all these parts something will cover it up so i don't mind so as you can see this is it always apply pressure when you're using gum for anything apply pressure to make the gum more sticky so apply pressure So apply pressure. <laughs> it's very hot. So this part, some of the cone is falling off. So use your hand to arrange it. Use your hand to lay them because of the sewing and the gum you applied. It's it's expected to fall off this way. So you just use your gum to to arrange it very well. The part falling off at the back. I'll just put a little gum in between this part i'll just put a little gum in between and use needle now so i finish um applying gum i'm going to sew now i want to sew it so i'll be sewing yeah we're sewing everything together again so i'll finish sewing it this is it this is it this is the back back of the hairband So we'll be using this uh, rose, this part, this part that looks like leaf, I'll be needing it to cover the back. So I'm cutting them off. If your work is very rough, then you need SSO. So this rose only came with this three, only came with three um, leaf-like um, part. So I'll be using the three to cover the back. You can see the back is neat. No, I think I should place the flower the other way around. Okay. So I'll be covering this part. With this rose, we're covering it with the rose. Thank God, the 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 tree, um, the tree rose is enough. So this is how it is. I'll cover it. So this is where I need my gum. I'll apply gum. I'm applying gum on the on the ashu key, then also on the rose to cover other parts. when a when a novice sees it you will think okay that's design they won't know you're using it to cover the ugly part of the <laughs> of the hairband so we'll be using that to cover the the early uh, the part of the hairband that does not need so we'll do same to the to the remaining two This whole process did not take me up to up to an hour. It's, it was very simple. Like I'm not saying it to I'm not saying it because I, I already know how to make it. It's very simple actually. Very simple. It did not take me was an hour. Not up to an hour. I was I was just on it and I'm done with it. It's not difficult and it's not time taking, it's not time consuming. Like it's not something you dedicate a whole hour for. In less than 30 minutes or 40 minutes, it should be done. You are not sewing, you are not doing anything different. Just to follow this process and you are good to go. Okay, the back is settled. Let's come back to the front now. So what we'll be doing now is to place some, um, you know, yeah, this, uh, placing the rose this way is more, more beautiful. Uh-huh, this, this is more beautiful. So I'll be applying a lot of gum and on the hairband and on the rose so a lot of it so on the rose so this is where we need you need your muzzle so you apply pressure Apply a lot of pressure and 
your hair is bound it's beautifully made okay so um, we are doing finishing now you see all the rough parts all these parts please use your needle to use your um needle scissors whichever thing just use it to remove it to make your work come out clean this end part of it just use um bias you see how beautiful it's looking just use bias to seal up this part and your work will come out neatly just use bias to seal it up the way you're seeing it use gum to seal that place up and so when you see the part up this is your beautiful hairband ready to be a rock ready for wedding ready for occasion ready for church ready for out just beautiful for all occasion thank you for watching my video hello guys good evening good morning good afternoon welcome to my youtube channel please if this is your first time of watching my video please subscribe and turn on the notification button so that you will get notification once i post other interesting videos please and if you've been watching my video and you are yet to subscribe please do thank you okay these are all the the stuff i'll be using to make this hairband I'm using different kind of bead. I'm using size six and size four, four bead. And then I put some golden beads there just to, just to play around with it. Okay, I'm trading my needle now. I'm using a fishing line. I'm using a uh, hundred, hundred size hundred. That's what I'm using for this work. I'm using size 100 you can see it's difficult sometimes you can bite it so that it will be able to enter through the needle so my work is started if you are getting please get the bead of your choice get the color of your choice you can even get the size of your choice i'm using size six and four because i don't want it very um i don't want it very loud i want it very very um calm looking because i'm still going to use some flowers on them so i trade my needle i pass it through the back so i'm tying it behind no we know the place i'm bidding i'm tying it behind so at every point in time your trade is uh, you exhaust your fishing line use the same process you bid it and tie it behind the back is going to look very rough after this work is finished so work has started after tying behind, I pass the needle back to the front. Yes. So I'm starting the work. I'm starting the work now. So since I'm beating the front, so I pass my needle back to the front. I'm using the size six down, then size four up. So if I'm using a golden uh, size six, I'm using uh, I'm using the the other color. Is that gold? Is okay. The lighter gold. I'm using it down. So I'm missing it like that, like that. The way you feel it will come at night, just miss it. So in this place, I'm using the lemon bead down, the golden up. So if I'm using the golden down, I'm using the lemon up. Just for it to come out very beautiful and nice. You can try multiple color. It's also very beautiful. You can try multiple color. I decided to use this because I actually love gold a lot. I like golden color. So I'm using this. This will not this will go with so many so many clothes, so many out outfits. So I'm making this color. So what I started, you put the bead, the big bead down, the size six down, then the size four up. Then you see the way it is. You pass the needle, yes, through the size six alone, through the size six alone. You pass the bead through the size six alone. So you're not passing the bead on the size four uh, the second time. So you're passing it through the size six alone. In that way, then you pass it through the, the head, uh, the board I'm, I'm working on. Same process, please, if you don't understand, always drop your comments. I will attend to them. You pass it back, you bring it back to the front. 
you bring it to the front okay same process continue the big bead okay i want to use a little bit of the golden because i don't want it to be too uniform i'm supposed to use like four bead that was my intention four different colors but i just let me go with two colors but i'll still put the gold maybe in two or three places so you're passing the bead through the one under under yes take it through the board yes bring it out when you drag it and it's standing okay standing firm you see the way i'm doing it when you drag it and it's standing firm take your needle by then your needle is at the back your needle is at the back of the board so take it yes pierce it and take it to the front to start your work again because if you do it that way if you if you continue at the back meaning you are beating the back not the front anymore so you pass your needle to the front and continue your work those take a lot of time so get prepared when you're doing it get ready to work to work is a lot of work but you will see the results is when it comes out you will like it you know that it's what the the strength you use in making it so i believe with this be understanding let's not make the video too lengthy so we continue with other procedure now yes yeah, see the whole work is done this is the two embellishments or will i call it this is the flower i'm using so i'm going to bend the the stuff behind the um the iron i bend it behind some people use gum strictly gum they don't use needle but for this stuff to stand where you need to use needle and fishing line to tack it so this i pass my needle through the through the board so the fishing line the other end is at the back why the other the first one is at the front so i'm bringing both to the back so you see the both fishing line both the needle and the other end is at the back now i will tie it i'm tying it behind after tying it work continue you see that back is very rough <laughs> after i finish the back is very rough after i finish beading everything you can see so we'll do something to that back later when the work is done so we are tacking the flowers on them now so you can see the flower the the other rows the 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 smaller rows on the head is actually very thick so we are not tacking that one we are not taking that one along we are tacking just the flat ones you see where my needle stopped you see where my needle stop i separate them so this is where we are tacking alone yeah this is the only place we are tacking the other parts at the end of the day we use gum to put them together so we are tacking only the soft parts you can use a bigger needle <laughs> the needle is actually very painful my hands are hurting me so you can use a bigger needle for your work to be faster but i choose to work with this small needle so we are tucking the other part down if you not see this needle again just know that it's inside my mouth i'm using my teeth to pull it <laughs> We not see just know that it has entered my mouth. Uh, okay, um, I'm using my teeth to pull it. It's so strong, you know. After the 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 stuff is already beaded and everything is strong, so you need energy. But if it is a bigger needle, it won't give you stress. So we are putting. Okay, let's tack it a little bit. I think because the other place is still loose. The back is rough because of so much work there. It's really very strong. Oh. <laughs> so after tacking it, I 
I'm looking for my needle. The needle is a very tiny one. It's the smallest needle. Okay, some persons will ask, what's the size of your needle? Because the last video I made, some persons were asking, what's the size of your needle? Please work with the needle you, you know that it will be okay for you. So we are gumming this part now. The other part, the hard part, we are gumming it now because we did not use needle for that. So use the size of the needle you feel is okay for your work. Everything is flexible. Flexible. Use the size of the bead you want. Use the size of anything you want. Just create something. Create it. You can watch my video and create something different. You can use the pattern, but just... Be innovative create whatever you feel it will come out nice you know your target customers what you feel okay this is what we buy quick for you use it so we are all done left with one um um embellishment or what we like call it sorry okay left with this so this had just one one um a uh, wire so I'm going to pass you through the under, you know, the, the flat roses, the roses has iron also wire. So I'm tacking it. This is the wire. It actually, after I did this, it actually stand firm. But if you feel you can stitch yours, you can do it. If you want to remove the wire and use gum, whichever way you think it will work for you, fine. But I'm using this wire. I'm, I'm I'm tacking the wire with the other rows down there so this is what I'll be doing and after after I did it I know it stand it will stand firm and it's not going to pull off easily so I'm sorry the camera is a little bit shift from what, uh, from what I'm doing so I'm sorry for that but in case you don't understand what is going on there drop your comments I will attend to it. Are you attend to it? Oh, oh, sorry. Actually, I'm trying to tag the other butterfly design. So you can see, butterfly design is all done. So I'm going to check out my work. Whichever thing is left to be done, I'll do it. If it need gum, I'll put gum just to make everything come out neatly. It should come out like a factory work, please. <laughs> everything should come out like a factory work. So there's a little bit of, there's a little opening there. So I'm using gum to close them, fill them up. So after this, um, I'll be doing something. I'll be covering those fishing line behind. I'll be covering the fishing line behind. So you know the colors of the material I use. Please, I'm not going to use this. What I'm using is called gum stain. Gum stain. I'm using a gum stain. I'm supposed to get the color of this, um, um bead but i don't have it at home but for the sake of this video i'm going to use this but i'm not going to attach it i will not attach it to my work but i'm going to show you on how to do it so you place the your work on the on the gum stain then trim neatly you trim neatly you can even do this before you start beading you can do this before you start beading so that your you know mistakenly cut the fishing line of the bead you've already made so my cutting is not very neat i'm not a tailor <laughs> so i'm going to fold then like a cone i'll fold it then trim again i'm going to fold it in a cone shape and trim Sorry, the camera is not concentrating on what I'm doing. I'm sorry for that. So what I did, I fold it. I fold it to a cone shape and trim. Oh, so sorry for this. So I fold it into four, into four, that here to a cone shape. Then I trim.
so you apply your gum please apply enough gum 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 sorry <laughs> apply enough gum and place this on it then the edge you fold like this you fold apply your gum and make it come out neatly then you need an alice band for this thing to stay on the head very well so after you face this you're supposed to use the color the alice band should be the same color of what you're doing but i don't have it at home for the sake of the video i'm just illustrating this way so you apply gum on the on the gum stain then place your alice band on it when you place your alice band put enough gum you can use something like this you can use something like this or you use the gum stain the gum stain yes you use the gum stain cut it to the shape you want and place it like this yes when you place it like this you apply gum on your alice band place the gum stain apply gum make it come out neatly so if you're making it for your company or whichever way you can put your tag to co cover the space of the space you put the gum stain you can put it like maybe your tag carrying penny collection you can put it so now my work is done this is the end product it's actually beautiful this 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 beautiful for all occasion and with these any customer getting this they are rest assured of um of of it serving them for a long time because these are these are crystal bead i use crystal bead so they are not going to fade up thank you for watching my video i appreciate hello guys good morning good afternoon good evening welcome back to my youtube channel we'll be making this hair accessory today using two different beads we are using pearls and crystal bead so these are the three materials we are using to make our hair accessory we are using crystal bead size six we are using um we are using pearl size six and um a wire of um 50 uh, size 50 so these are the three stuff will be uh, three materials we'll be using to make our hair accessory okay cut um the wire cut it to the length that you can you can you can um, control very well and go with to so cut the length you want then you can choose to put your uh, your bead one by one or you put two at a time then start with one so when you pull the bead you just have to twist it this way i'm twisting it just twist it twist it keep twisting it it actually hurts the palm if you are working on it so twist so twist it to the point you you want it then you put another bead again continue same process keep twisting it twist it this way the wire is actually very flexible so twisting it is not hard but the bead sometimes pains um, you feel the pain on your palm so it's somehow painful especially the crystal because it doesn't have a smooth smooth uh, the body is not smooth so it will always um, give you some discomfort on your hand so you continue this way remember when you cut the wire you start your work from any part of the wire like maybe in the, uh, the middle or side anywhere so you have to you have to end like this from the wire so you, you you are doing what you're doing on both sides you do here you do here just like that so that you exhaust your wire whichever way you do it it will still come out fine these are flexible you can style it the way you want still so i'm using i'm i'm, I'm making my accessory from both sides so put your bead make sure it's everything is smooth use your hand to arrange the bead very well to make sure everything is smooth then twist it you keep twisting so that you get to the length you want then you proceed with another okay please if this is your first time of watching my video you are yet to subscribe to my channel please subscribe hit the notification bell so that you get notification when i'm posting another interesting video you'll be the first person to get notifications <laughs> Once I post video, you get notification immediately. 
so please hit the notification bell subscribe like my video share with your friends share with your family thank you okay same process okay i think i i want to make it a bit stylish so i use three bead at once so you can even do it like you use one bead you make the the next one you can use three bead just like that just make something nice just be innovative as i always said so you can choose to do it this way and uh, maybe one of these one of the single bead just like that you mix it up i just decided to do few of this so our work is making progress it's making progress okay so you put more bead and twist it i think i'm almost done with this one on the on the ground there i'm almost done with that i'm almost done with that so keep keep the process on So because you have two edge of the wire you do from this part you do from the other part just to get um so you continue same process so depend on how you want the length of the accessory to look like depend on how you want the length and if you want it short you should have a idea of how you want it the length to be so this is mine um i don't want it very long because i'm doing this just for the sake of this video so after i i am done with it i told you earlier the wire is very flexible so you see the way i'm doing it as if it's leaf i'm making the design to look as if it's leaf just pick one from there bend it to the other side you can see how it's coming out so this is how i'll be doing it just to get uh, the look of the first video you watch before we started the work so this is this is it you bring one from the other side bend it you can you can turn it the way you want the wire is so flexible so you can turn it you can style it the way you want for for the sake of those people that maybe the wire you cut the wire you cut did not give you the length you want you have to do another one then join it the wire is just actually very flexible so it will be very easy for you to join it you know how to just use your your in uh, innovation to join it join it together so this is how this board is so the other the bidders are on one side in some in some part of the accessory so i'm still going to put it to the other side like this just to make it come out like this leaf shape the way leaf is so that's how i want it to be so as you can see see what we got here this is what we got So this is what we got. This is how it look. You know, when you're making it for the first time, it will look as if it's not making sense. So this one I'm doing like this is um the pin. In case you want to you want to put this accessory on the head, so you need a pin to hook it. So this what I'm doing is for the pin uh put three bead or put three bead um in the wire so i'm putting three bead then when you put the three bead just twist it the way you 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 did it initially so just twist it bend it then twist so this one we are just making pin for the uh to serve as hook so thank you for watching my video please if you are yet to subscribe uh please subscribe to my channel if you like what i'm doing 
give my video a thumbs up so this pin that we're making now this pin you see that you leave the pin like the slim the way i twist them together or you open it that is the under that other part where there's no bead you open it and so that you can hook it to 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 your head so you can open it or you leave it to be slim this way so this is how the hook look like this is what you'll be using to um pin the the uh, accessory to your head so thank you for watching my video as you can see i uh, i style it in three different ways in three different ways so this is one so this is one this is another and so on so guys thank you for watching my video i appreciate thank you for your support we appreciate you so these are the styles you can style it in a different way also thank you